Hi, in this video, we are going to cover up a few practice questions based upon SC Linux, SCP and SFTP. So these are the four questions that we are going to cover. So the first question is to copy a file slash home slash user one slash data dot txt from the local machine to the remote server. The IP address of the server is given. So, so now this IP address might not be available on your system. So whatever is the IP address of your second machine, you can use that. So you need to transfer this file. Now this sub file data dot txt, this also you should create first. You should transfer it from one machine to another machine under the slash tmp folder using scp and then you use sftp to verify if the file exists on the remote server all right so let us first ensure that the user one is there so i'll first create it by using user add user one and then i'll create a file the required file data.txt into this user slash home slash user one directory so I'll first switch the current user to user1, move into the slash home slash user1 directory and create the data.txt file. All right, coming back to the root user account. Now I need to execute the scp command. What I want to copy slash home slash user1 slash data dot txt where i want to copy to a user account baljeet at the rate 192.168.1.0 so this ip address might not be there in your system so you can use here the ip address of any second machine that exists in your system so for showcasing what i'll do here is i'll use here local host all right so this get transferred to the existing local machine itself next what we are going to do we'll establish a sftp connection Baljeet at the rate localhost sorry sftp okay password so you can, once you are on the sftp you can use ls so in the output we can see the data.txt file so one thing that i have missed here is that as per the question i should transfer this to slash temp okay so let me exit from sftp so the command would be scp in the end you write here slash temp okay that's the only thing done the file is transferred so again sftp password ls slash temp and you can see the very first entry is data dot txt the second question is check the current SC Linux mode and we need to switch it to permissive mode. So to check the current SC Linux mode, we will use the command get enforce. So currently it is enforcing to change it to permissive. We will use set enforce zero again check it is permissive. Now to make this change persistent. It's better that you edit the configuration file, which is etc sc linux config, and you make the change here. Then only it will be a persistent change here rather than enforcing. You will write here permissive save. Now the change is permanent. Question number three. Allow the SSH service to use the new port 2222 in SA Linux. So for this, we will use the command se manage port hyphen a to add hyphen t, which tells the type ssh underscore port underscore t hyphen p port, which is tcp, and then the number 2222. And that's it. Last question is to configure the SC Linux Boolean HTTPD can connect can network connect to be enabled and ensure that this setting is persistent. So we will use the command set se bool hyphen p for persistent HTTPD can network 
connect on and the change is done. So these were the questions for this video. See you next time.